For all real numbers x, the function f of x satisfies 6 plus f of x is equal to 2 f of negative x plus 3x squared times the integral from negative 1 to 1 of ft dt. It follows that this integral equals 4, 6, 11, 27 over 2, or 23. Um, hmm. So this is kind of a weird, complicated setup, but what I'm, cons what I'm thinking of doing here is just taking this equation that's given and integrating both sides of it from negative 1 to 1 because, uh, well, let's see what happens if I, if I do that. So, I mean, this instant, I'm not sure exactly where this instant came from, but there's a few things to recognize that, uh, you know, why I'm about to do this. The first is that realizing that this is just a constant. So it's, it's some constant that we're trying to solve for. You'll note that given that this thing is a constant, this whole thing is very easy to integrate because it's really just a, a quadratic term. Um, integrating this from negative 1 to 1 is the same as integrating that from negative 1 to 1, although we might have to um, worry about a, a, a... There's obviously some kind of sign change here thing that's going on. Um, Actually, I don't think that'll I don't think that'll matter. That won't that won't affect anything. Um, and then once I integrate both sides of this, this will turn out to just be, you know, the the integral of that is the thing we're looking for. The integral of that is the thing we're looking for. We'll have to do some work to integrate that term, and this is just a constant that will pop out. So let's integrate this whole thing from negative one to one. I'm going to call this whole thing K. Okay, so here we have the integral from negative 1 to 1 of 6 is 12. So 12 plus K is equal to 2. Uh, so this 2 I'm taking out of the integral. And then the integral of f of f of negative x dx, well, think, if we just think about this in terms of areas, the graph of this thing is just the graph of the original function f reflected. And so the area, uh, the area between negative 1 and 1 is the same. So that gives us another k. And here we have, uh, well, I'll write it like this, k. Uh, and then the antiderivative of 3x squared is x cubed, evaluated at negative 1 and 1. So this gives us um, 12 is equal to k plus k times 1 plus 1. 12 is equal to 3k, and so k is equal to 4. Uh, and that's one of the options. That's option A. Yeah, this is kind of a cool problem. Um, you know, it looks like a very intimidating thing when you you first look at it. Um, and if you know, if I wasn't confident that this would have given me the right answer, then it would have been one of those things where you just try it and see what happens. Uh, and and. Hopefully you keep up with going through the work that you realize you can solve for. Uh, you know, the thing that you're looking for just ends up popping into the equation. Yeah, so nice little problem. If I have any kind of mistakes that I find, I'll put them down in the description. Thanks for watching.